Hi, this is part two on how to replace a 2009 Toyota alternator. This is the second part, and what I'm showing you is how and where to pull the alternator off. The bracket is right here. You see the alternator? I have pushed back the Freon line with two clothespins. I've taken the bolt out of his harness, I mean out of the bracket, and I've slid the Freon line over about a half an inch or to three quarters inch. I wouldn't push it any further. Okay, and I've taken the top holes off right here on the right, and the bottom holes are still there. I've already put it down and placed it inside the bracket, but now I'm going to put the small bracket that goes on the back that attaches to the engine block. Okay, you see how easy this is? You don't have to take the radiator out. You don't have to take the fan out. You don't have to dismantle the front of this vehicle at all. There's no bolts taken out of the radiator area. There's no grill taken out. There's nothing taken out. All I did was disconnect the bolts from the alternator, slid the radiator lines over about three quarter inch, I mean uh, the Freon lines. The, the Freon lines have two clothes pins to give it that little extra space. And you take the top holes off here on the right. That's it. It's a simple job if you follow these instructions. Don't fool with the thermostat housing. Don't fool with anything but taking the top holes off right here on the right and moving the Freon lines over after you disconnect the bolt. Now I'm going to zoom in where that bolt goes down in here, okay? We're zooming in and that bolt is a, it, it's out of place. I've moved the Freon lines over. You see how the how the bracket is on the left side. I, I I lifted it up. There's the bolt. There's the bolt. I'm zooming in on the nut. There it is. You disconnect that nut right there from this bracket over here. And then you have the space to take the alternator out over to the passenger side of the car. See, here it is. Here, here's the van, and you can see that I've taken these wires and I've pulled them over. Now the heat shield is gone, and it's over here with a bungee cord. Okay, it's a simple job. It's the first time I've ever done it, and I'm not a professional mechanic, but I've done it better, I think, than the Toyota people has done it because they want to dismantle... Uh, the fan, they want to take the fan out. So I didn't take the fan out. All I did was take the small holes off right here. This place right here. I took that hose off. I moved the Freon lines over about an inch. And I, I pulled them up from where they go. I pulled the bracket up. There's the bracket right there. I'm trying to get it to focus. There's the bracket right there. It focused finally. Okay, we're going to zoom back out. And it's easy. Okay, I'm going to put this little uh, bracket on at the bottom. And when I put that bracket on, I can mount it to uh, the engine. And then everything will be easy. I'll put the other two bolts in that hold it to the main bracket. This is the main bracket right here. See, there's two brackets. There's the main bracket and the small bracket right here. Okay? So, they will tell you to put this bracket on the alternator before you put it back in, but you can't move the alternator around through this tight space that, I, that I'm using. This tight space, you got to take the bracket off and put it on right now before you mount it into the main bracket. Take care. It's an easy job nothing hard about it. Take care now. Goodbye.